Hey there YouTube, welcome to another Tech Me Out video, thank you so much for being here. As always, if you haven't subscribed already, please do and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when new videos come out. In today's video, we are going to talk about and perform together uh, a firmware upgrade on the Unified Dream Machine and Dream Machine Pro. If you're watching this video in December 2020, then just a few days ago Ubiquiti released the 1.8.3 version of the firmware for the uh, Unified Dream Machine lineup and I am going to take advantage of, the, of this recent availability of new uh, firmware to do this upgrade but before I want to address what seems to me like sort of a confusion I see online and from people that are uh, talking to me about it some people are saying, that, are saying that you should refrain from upgrading the firmware uh, at least for a few uh, a few weeks some people are saying that you should definitely upgrade but uh, it seems to me that there is a, a, a confusion between uh, the upgrading of the Unify controller version and the firmware so in regards to the controller then yes a few people including myself think that it is best to wait for a week or two or even three before upgrading for the newest Unify network controller version. But when it comes to firmware upgrades, I think that you should not wait too long before you upgrade because other than the fact that the firmware itself contains the newest uh, applications versions like Protect and uh, Network Controller and Access if you're using it, it also contains security patches for security vulnerabilities found from version to version. So definitely do not wait uh, too long before upgrading. Now, I have seen also uh, a few people, at least uh, from what I saw online, people that do want to upgrade. People that, that saw that uh, came to a conclusion that uh, uh, they waited enough and now they want to do the upgrade, but they can't seem to find how to do it. They're looking uh, uh, on, on the network controller on, the how, on how to do it, but it's not there. So we are definitely going to show at least two methods of uh, doing the firmware upgrade. So let's jump right into the, com to the computer and we'll see how it is done. Join me. All right, guys, so we are at the computer and it's time to get into the into the real into the real business and see how to upgrade our unified dream machine or dream machine pro now first of all what i advise you to do is to just open up a new browser tab and search for udm firmware upgrade this is how i do things uh, uh, not only in the unify world but in everything almost uh, that i do and I go to the first article I find and I can see that there are some sort of, of instruction on how, on how to do the firmware upgrade. In this case it's a, a firmware upgrade troubleshooting which doesn't interest us but you can see that there is some sort of a guide that uh, Ubiquiti uh, makes available for us and I have looked through this guide and I see that they are probably just by looking at this line over here I can see that they are uh, uh, um, directing us to do the firm firmware upgrade through SSH. So I'm writing down this line over here, which is something I already did. I'm writing down the line because I'm taking it as an example. And what I also like to do is to open up a new tab and search Unify Software Releases right here. And this is where I actually download firmware, firmwares and uh, controller updates. And here it is, right here, Unify Dream Machine firmware. And I'm going to download, actually not download, just copy the link for the UDM Pro. I'm clicking right, right click and copy link. And I have the link right here. But what I need to do is to take this link and put it right here instead of this link I'm writing down I'm putting down the link that we've just copied but this is something I already did in advance and here it is so 
Now that I know how to do it, I have the, the SSH command, I'm, I can, um, with confidence, go to my UDM device and the first option for us to do the actual upgrading and well first we need to log in of course and we will go to the settings uh, to the settings uh, um, page right here and although they are not obligated to do it every time Ubiquity mentioned that this uh, version 1.8.3 will be a rolling update. But what they mean by that is that they will push it to everyone eventually. So everyone will get it. So unless you have disabled uh, the automatic upgrading on your UDM, you will get the upgrade eventually. So if you already been pushed the upgrade, if you'll go right here under firmware and click check for update you might get a notification that uh, there are new upgrades for you and uh, you might get like me no uh, upgrade at all but i do know that uh, in the last uh, in the uh, knowledge base article we just saw we have an ssh command we can use we can use to manually do the upgrade and this is what i usually do i almost never use this uh, ui based uh, uh, upgrading so what I will do is I will indeed open an SSH, an SSH session and I'll do it by typing SSH root at the Unified Dream Machine Pro IP address and the password. And this is where I'll take the command I have prepared earlier copy and paste hit enter and the upgrade process is now starting now it will take between i don't know five minutes maybe even longer than that it depends on the amount of devices you have if you have the amount of cameras you have on protect on the amount of how busy the Unified Dream Machine is currently uh, uh, is currently uh, utilized, so this this time of the upgrade can vary. What I am going to do is I'm going to pause the recording right here and I'm going to resume it once the upgrade is done. All right, guys. So at this point, the firmware upgrade process is already done. I know that because I ping. If I ping my UDM Pro, it's now replying. A few minutes later, a few minutes earlier, it didn't reply because it was not online. It was uh, doing the upgrade. And now we can open up a new browser window and again go to the Unified Dream Machine Pro IP address and log in. And the first thing that we can see is that the network controller version is now 6.0.41, which we know is bundled with the Unify a Dream Machine firmware upgrade. By the way, we haven't looked at this. Let's go back to the Unify software releases. And if we'll go back to the Unify Dream Machine firmware page, We'll see that the bundled applications are Unify Network version 6.0.41 and Unify Protect version and the new Access version. So this, just by looking at the new controller version, I know that the firmware upgrade process is done successfully. By the way, I do recommend going over the new improvements and bug fixes in this version and in all future versions. And something that has caught my eye very clearly is this new improvement update suricata ips to a uh, version uh, uh, 4.1.8 which is in suricata it's not the latest version but it's something the, the suricata version of the uh, of the udm dream, dream machine pro have been lagging behind a little bit so at least we are getting some uh, increased uh, level of protection here 
So let's go to the settings uh, to the settings menu of the Unified Dream Machine Pro, and indeed we can see the new uh, firmware version. So for us, this means the, the upgrade was successful. Let's go to the network controller just to verify that the Unify controller loads up and that everything is good. And just to verify that all our devices are showing up and no issues there. Let's go over to clients. All clients are here. So clearly the version, uh, the firmware upgrade was successful and we'll see and we saw two methods of doing it. We chose the SSH, ver uh, um, uh, the SSH way. I recommend it. I find it more convenient. I, I, I feel more in, con in control uh, with the SSH uh, upgrades. By the way, not only on the UDM, uh, even in my cloud hosted uh, Unify controller. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, any suggestions, any improvements, please let me know in the comment section below. I love to hear your opinions and inputs. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when new videos come out. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Have a good day, guys.